Hey Huron Academy, it's Mrs. Lane coming to you with the announcements for the week of January 22nd on this beautiful Detroit Lions playoff Sunday. Just a few reminders, school does begin at eight o'clock at the Metro campus and 8.30 at the Utica campus, and the doors do open 15 minutes ahead of time. We do have some late starts coming up for you to mark your calendars, Friday, January 26th, Friday, February 9th, and Friday, March 1st. Instead of a parking lot reminder, I'm going to do a school closure reminder because last week was a little crazy. We had a day off and then we had a day where it was kind of really cold. Then we had another day off and then a half day with some snow and then another day off. So it was a little crazy last week. But just so you know, in the event that the school is closed due to weather, if there's a building issue or some other reason that we have to close, you will receive notification via email. So you wanna make sure that your email address is updated correctly. In addition, we do post any school closures on the news, so the major news channels, and on all of our social media pages, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Teachers will also send out info on their class communication sites as soon as they receive notification from administration. So if there's a possibility, you know, other schools around are closing or you're not sure, please make sure you are checking those things. But here's our big parking lot reminder that I'm going to keep reminding just because it's still a bit of an issue. Turning left into and out of the main parking lot is not allowed at any time. It is dangerous to our students and our families as well as the drivers on Utica and you can get a ticket. We do not want any of you to get a ticket but this is what's going to happen and so I'm trying to make sure that you understand this. Also, turning left out of the south exit is not allowed during certain times, uh, basically during drop off and afternoon dismissal, because again, it creates an unsafe situation for our families and the other drivers. And again, if the police drive by or they decide to swing through, you absolutely will get a ticket for that. And we don't want that for any of our families. So please, please stop turning left when you aren't supposed to. We don't wanna see any of our families getting pulled over or getting tickets or anything happening to anyone because it is not safe. Just a reminder also, the Kids Heart Challenge has kicked off. And so we do this every year. So if you would like to support our school and the American Heart Association, please make sure you set up your um, account and get registered. And then all of that money uh, benefits, obviously, the American Heart Association, but also here on Academy. So we would love to see more families, more students get registered. Um, to start raising money for a very good cause. Some dates that you're going to want to keep in mind coming up. January 22nd, this is when sibling enrollment and student re-enrollment will begin. You'll receive emails that have all the information for you to start that process. Um, it's very easy. It shouldn't take you very long. Most of the information will already be in there. You're just checking to make sure the information is correct and make any necessary changes. It's so much easier than uh, the old paper process. So be looking for those emails this week. This week, we also start our winter NWEA testing, so please make sure students are getting a good night's sleep, having a good breakfast before they come to school, and just know that some of their schedules will be a little bit different on the days that they have testing. January 22nd is also our first boys basketball game. This is an away game. It will be at 6 o'clock. Good luck, gentlemen. January 23rd is Bagel Day at Utica. January 23rd is also our PTC meeting at 6.30 that is held at the Utica building. January 24th, our boys have another basketball game. This time it's a home game and it begins at five o'clock. Any students that want to stay for the basketball game need to have a parent with them. Uh, January 26th is a late start. Here's just a little information about our first boys basketball game. It will be versus Barack Obama Leadership Academy, and that will be at six o'clock. And because it's an away game, it will be played at Bradford Academy in Southfield. So if anyone wants to go check that out, that is where that game will be happening on Monday. 
January 29th, our boys have another basketball game. That is an away game at six o'clock. January 30th is Bagel Day. January 31st is our Husky Honors Assembly. This is for the second quarter honors. It will be held during the day and we will be sharing more information regarding the times. Parents are welcome to come if you would like. So we will share that information soon. January 31st, the boys have another game and it's an away game. February 2nd is a PTC Gene Day for all students who have paid because it's the first Friday of the month. And February 5th, our boys, busy, busy on their basketball season, have another home game and that, time, that one is at six o'clock. Club information, our boys practice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 4.10 until 5.45. We have DI on Wednesdays, Husky Bots, Chess Club, Dungeons and Dragons, and of course, Science Olympiad. But for Science Olympiad, make sure you are checking with your team captains and checking Dojo to find out when you are meeting. Here is our boys basketball schedule. They do have a busy couple of weeks. Um, so you can see all our home and away games. The away games could be played at two different locations. And so you'll notice at the bottom, I put if they're if it says away one, they're playing at Bradford Academy. If it says away two, they're playing at Crescent Academy. So really the first two away games on the 22nd and the 29th are going to be at Bradford Academy. And the next two away games, the 31st and February 26th, will be played at Crescent Academy. Both schools are in Southfield. This week for Metro lunches on Monday, chicken tenders will be the offering. On Tuesday, students can get mini corn dogs. Wednesday is a cheese pizza quesadilla. Thursday is chicken strips and a waffle. And Friday is a packaged pizza square. For our students at the Utica campus, on Monday they can choose between Salisbury steak or chicken tenders. On Tuesday they have the choice of a hamburger or mini corn dogs. Wednesday, the offerings are cheese pizza quesadilla or a grilled cheese. Thursday is chicken strips and a waffle or a hot and spicy chicken patty sandwich. And Friday, of course, is pizza day. And as always, the Utica campus has salad bar available to our students for lunch every day. This week for the positivity project, our character strength is perseverance. Perseverance is the ability to set goals and then work through the challenges to accomplish them. People who demonstrate perseverance can also be described as brave for having the courage to keep working towards something, even though they might also have a fear of failing. So you can check out ways to practice and encourage perseverance with your child by visiting the Positivity Project's P2 for Families. And our quote this week comes from Pele, and he said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. The weather this week, thankfully, is not going to be as frigid as it was last week. Um, it is still going to be cold, though. So uh, it's looking like there's some forecasted rain during the week. So we won't be able to go outside on those days. But if it's not raining, the temperature will be high enough that students will be going outside. So they definitely should be bringing coats, probably hats and gloves to make sure that they are staying warm on those days that we are going to be able to go outside. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to all of our staff members who are celebrating. Mrs. Kellerman is celebrating on the 24th. And then as we move into our February birthdays, Miss Debbie will be celebrating on February 1st. Mr. Hagel also has a birthday on February 1st. Miss Ashley at the Metro building has her birthday on February 2nd. Mr. Trammell will celebrate on February 4th and Miss Karen on February 7th and Miss Amy on February 17th. So happy birthday to all of our staff members who will be celebrating in the next few weeks. Just a few pictures from some of the events this past week. Uh, again, it was kind of a short week. So um, we have a few pictures from when the kids actually got to play outside before it got so cold that we couldn't go outside and covered in snow. So just some fun at recess. We had students that were working on dioramas in one of the classroom. We have some middle schoolers helping each other with one of their lessons. Definitely some lion pride going on this week. Um, and then we also had 
students uh, who got to take selfies. It was a silly selfie week, so we have some selfies in there. And we had our winner of the third grade spelling bee, Anthony Gardella, so good job, buddy. And some more Lions Pride. So it was a great week, uh, kind of crazy, a little bit short, but we had a good time while we were here. If you are not following us, you should. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and X, which is formerly known as Twitter. And you can find all kinds of updates going on at the school on all of those sites. So I would definitely recommend following at least one of those. Uh, you can also find information on our website and you are always welcome to call either the Metro or Utica campus with any questions that you might have. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Hopefully this week is more of a normal week for us. The weather's looking okay, so we should be good to go. And with that, I would just like to say go Lions and everyone have a wonderful week.